well children we were reading chapter number 4 the rat trap and the story reached at a very crucial point the iron master left the forge for his home he was not able to persuade the so called his old regimental comrade nil solof to his home who actually was not right he was simply a homeless wanderer a paddler but he was resolute to take him home let us read further in this chapter page number 37 okay open it in your books page number 37 and we are going to start it where we were we are to start from this particular point okay it was not more than half an hour before they heard the sound of carriage wheels outside the forge so the sound of carriage wheels there was a carriage wheel a carriage a vehicle a vehicle stopped outside right someone had come and a new guest came in this time it was not the iron master he had sent his daughter apparently hoping that she would have better powers of persuasion why was she sent better powers of persuasion what does it word mean or will this phrase mean powers of persuasion a better power to make someone agree to someone something that is powers of persuasion means to convince others to convince others this is called powers of persuasion the girl had better powers of persuasion means she had, she had a better quality to convince others so the iron master sent his daughter now this time she entered followed by a valet valet who is a valet a helper a helper who carries the thing for someone carrying on his arm a big fur coat she had brought her valet with her why just to fetch and carry things simply right she came with a big fur coat fur coat for whom perhaps for the for the man she had come for okay now she entered followed by a valet carrying on his arm a big fur coat she was not at all pretty but seemed very modest and quite shy in the forge everything was just as it had been earlier in the ev- evening the master blacksmith and his apprentice what do you mean by apprentice apprentice stand for what do you mean by this word the word apprentice a double p r e n t i c e this word apprentice apprentice stand for yes training training the one who gets the training under someone some expert he is called the apprentice okay now now the next thing his apprentice still sat on their bench and the iron and charcoal still glowed in the furnace the stranger next page please the stranger had stretched himself means stretched himself he had lied down on the ground on the floor and lay with a piece of pig iron under his head pig iron a big chunk of iron was there the uh, raw iron was there and he put it under his head and he was uh, just for the sake of uh, giving support to his head and his hat pulled down over his eyes as soon as the young girl caught sight of him she went up and lifted his hat 
the man was evidently used to sleeping with one eye open <laughs> don't take it otherwise one eye open one eye open here stand for this is a phrase this is a, a saying that is used for yes this phrase is used for someone who is always alert right he jumped up abruptly and seemed to be quite frightened ah oh, who is there oh sorry my name is edla wilmanson immediately she introduced her right uh, my name is edla wilmanson saying the young girl my father came home and said that you wanted to sleep here in the forge tonight and then i asked permission to come and bring you home for to us i'm sorry captain that you are having such a hard time this was the uh, dialogue oh sir i'm sorry captain oh she called here captain called him a captain oh captain that you are having such a hard time please stay with us over to christmas eve eve stand for a day prior to someone a night prior to someone in the prior to some particular day is called eve you will I'll be allowed to leave as just freely as you come please please you come to our home no this was very unique how could she, how could she just uh, deny her how could how could he how could he deny but there was one more strange thing he she looked at him very compassionately compassionately very kindly with her heavy eyes and then she noticed that the man was afraid the girl was very smart she immediately recognized that he is afraid he is afraid the man is afraid immediately she realized either he has stolen something or else he has escaped from jail she thought and added quickly oh you may be sure captain that you will be allowed to leave us as freely as you can as you came only please stay with us over christmas eve oh sir we shall allow you to leave just spend one christmas with us my father is eagerly waiting for you oh now this conciliatory address of the girl really changed his mind she said in such a friendly manner she said in such a friendly manner that the rat trap peddler must have felt confidence in her he felt confidence in her this rat trap seller this conciliatory address when she said no okay you will be allowed to leave just really as you came oh mm -hmm. there is something it never occurred to me that you would uh then he said it would never occur to me that you would bother me with yourself i'll come at once she said oh you had to take such a trouble for me to come here just to take me home oh i am so sorry miss i will surely come at once what the manner friendly manner and the confidence that the girl showed changed his mind changed the mind of the peddler and he became ready to go with her. to go with her that was confidence confidence of the rat trap in the girl she was she said so confidently also thing he accepted the fur coat which the valet handed him with a deep bow with a deep respect threw it over his rage rags rags means the dirty clothes the torn clothes and followed the young lady out to the carriage without granting the astonished blacksmith so much as a glance means he didn't look back at the at the astonished astonished and for surprised both surprised blacksmiths were only seeing her oh god seeing her with the with the with the peddler and they were surprised at the peddler the man who was uh, not ready to go just a while ago was so much convinced by the girl and immediately he became ready this was very really surprising but then there while he was riding up to the manor house 
he had evil forebodings what when they both were going back to the house to the girl's house then he had some evil forebodings what do you mean by evil forebodings evil forebodings evil forebodings here stand for yes very poor very uh, you can say wrong conceptions feelings he was having very poor forebodings you can say um, some futuristic projections that were coming to his mind aise hota hai na yaar kuch galat hoga tere sath something bad is going to happen to you he had some evil forebodings evil projections were there why the devil are uh, did i take that fellow's money kyu liya paisa uska now he was repenting he thought now i am um in the trap and will never get out of it my dear students here i want to point out the red trap seller himself became the victim of his own creations his own uh, philosophies that he that he was create that were created by him that this man this whole world is a rat trap that he himself became a rat to to be caught in the trap of this world how he stole 30 kroners 30 kroners of yes whom whose money the crafters money he stole and he was caught in the jungle now again he was searching for comfort luxuries etc good food he said na good food is waiting for you again he was caught in the trap in the web of this world good food again he was uh, allured by the bait and being he was being caught he thought why the devil why did i take that fellow's money this was really very poor on his part right chalo ye bhi dekhte hain let us see the next day was christmas eve christmas eve a day before christmas means 24 december and when the iron master came into the dining room for breakfast for breakfast then what happened he probably thought with satisfactions of his old regimental comrade with whom he had run across so unexpectedly by chance he had uh, come across that man so unexpectedly uh, that was there right means next day he was expecting that man Ex- expecting that man on the table right so he both they both father and daughter were sitting on the dining table in the morning to have breakfast right they were ready to have breakfast on the table both father and daughter were sitting on the breakfast table father daughter right they were ready first of all he said first of all we must see to it see to it we must ensure that he gets a little flesh on his bones means we must give him food so that his uh, physical condition can be improved he said to his daughter who was busy at the table and then we must see that he get something else to do than to run around the country selling red traps first now now this father the iron master this iron master is concerned about his health and about his job okay we'll see ki we can if uh, it, if it was possible we could change uh, his job we could uh, just uh, 
give him a suitable a job suitable for to his uh, to his cadre to his uh, reputation then girl comes forward forward yes papa page number 39 it's queer queer stand for it's strange that the things have gone downhill with him as badly as that said the daughter last night even i did not think that there was anything about him as to show that he had once been an educated man papa i couldn't even realize that that man could be an educated man as you were saying that he was your friend i even didn't find even a single symptom single sign of good education and uh, respect in him i didn't find that oh you must be, have patience my dear my little child my little girl said the father as soon as he gets clean and dressed up you will see something different he will last night he was actually naturally embarrassed the tramp manners will fall away from him with the tramp clothes in as soon as he will remove the tramp clothes the uh, dirty uh, clothes of a vagabond of a poor peddler suddenly his look his uh, personality his uh, vision his complete temperament that would be totally changed all tramp manners will fall away also you will see him a different person but just as he opened the door as the door opened and the stranger entered oh god yes now he was truly clean and well dressed when he came he was well dressed well dressed yes he was a gentleman now <laughs> gentleman was truly clean and well dressed the peddler became a gentleman how the valet had bade him he was truly clean and dressed the valet had bade him and cut his hair shaved him moreover he was dressed in a good looking suit of clothes which belonged to the iron master the, the coat that he the coat and pant that he was wearing that was of the iron master right he wore a white shirt also with a starched collar and whole shoes also complete shoes it means he was having the personality of a good gentleman that fellow when he appeared in the morning at the dining table but although his guest was now well groomed well groomed he was all looking good and uh, having looking beautiful lo looking all handsome the iron master did not seem pleased he was not happy why he looked at him with puckered brow puckered brow with raised brows you can see raised brows his brows are raised means somewhere he is not happy he's he is recognizing someone he is trying to recognize someone but uh, find something other someone other rather and it was easy to understand that when he had seen the strange fellow in the uncertain reflection from the furnace he might have made a mistake oh i might have made a mistake oh sorry he is not my old regimental comrade nil solof perhaps i have made a mistake perhaps last night in the reflection of uh, furnace i could not recognize this fellow but that was now when he stood there in the broad daylight it was impossible to mistake him for an old acquaintance acquaintance known person what does this mean he thundered who this man when he looked at him na he shouted who shouted the iron man he said oh what does it mean the stranger made no attempt to dissimulate to dissimulate to hide something he didn't want to hide or didn't want to make any uh, you can say excuse he saw at once that the splendor had come to an end splendor the charm was over the little time honeymoon is over the charm is gone the charm is gone means he has been recognized pata lag gaya pehchan ho gayi ise iron master ko it is not my fault sir 
I never pretended to be anything but a poor trader and I pleaded, pleaded, requested, pretended to make excuse. I pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the fold but no harm has been done. At worst, I can put on my rags again and go away. Sorry sir, if you, if you have misrecognized me, then I would go away. Uh, no harm has been done. Only this suit I have worn, I will again put, up my, uh, put on my rags and I would go away. Well, well, buyer and master said, hesitating a little. Iron master hesitated a little. Why? Because it was not a complete act of honesty on his part. He said, you were not honest. It was not quite honest either on your part, my dear. You must admit that I should not be surprised if the sheriff would like to have something to say in the matter. Sheriff, the policeman. You would not be surprised if I call the sheriff, if I call the policeman and he would arrest you. Why? Because you were not completely honest with me. You could have immediately said that I, um, I was not the right person. So it was an act of dishonesty on your part. He called him a dishonest fellow and threatened to call the police. The tramp took a step forward and struck the table with his fist. Look, sir, I'm not going to tell you, Mr. Iron Master, how things are, he said. The whole world is nothing but a big rat trap. <laughs> he came again to this philosophy, this whole world, he said. This is nothing but a very big rat trap. He again brought forward his philosophy of the world as a rat trap. This whole world is bigger rat trap, my dear. The Iron Master, one day you can also get caught in this trap. All good things that are that offered you are nothing but cheese rinds. Cheese rinds, the pieces of cheese and bits of pork. Pieces of pork. Set out to drag a poor fellow. Set out. They have been put forward to drag, to pull a man into this snare. This is the snare. S N. A R E. Snare means the trap. This is the trap of this world. Right? And if the sheriff comes now and locks me up for this, then you, Mr. Iron Master, must remember that a day may come when you yourself may want to get a big piece of pork and then you will get caught in the trap. One day may come that this man iron master you can also fall a victim to the to the greed of something and you may fall as a victim of this world you may also get caught means you can also be allured by something and you can get trapped as i have been i i was allured by good del christmas delicacies on good food good stay at your home so i came here and i am trapped I came here and I was trapped. Maybe a day, may, a day may come that you can get yourself caught in this snare. <laughs> the iron master began to laugh. Ah, that was not so badly said, my good fellow. Perhaps we should let the sheriff alone on Christmas Eve. But now, just do one thing. Get out of here as fast as you can. Nigal Jabas. Things are over. But just as the man was opening, but just as the man was opening the window, uh, opening the door, immediately what happened? The girl came forward. The daughter said, I think he, he ought to stay here with us today. I don't want him to go. And with that, she went and closed the door. What the, what in the world are you doing? Said the father. Why are you stopping him? Why? Then, he, then she said, the daughter stood there quite embarrassed and hardly knew what to answer. That morning she had felt so happy when she thought how homelike and Christmassy she was going to make things for the poor hungry wretch. Wretch means the unfortunate man. 
how happy she was she prepared so many uh, dishes in the morning christmas dishes that she had prepared for this man oh but now he was being thrown away like just like this this idea was never like that she could not get away from that idea all at once and that was why she had interceded for the boy interceded what do you mean by this word interceded interceded means she advocated for her advocated she took the side of this man right she interceded she uh, talked in favor of him i am thinking of this stranger here papa she said i am thinking of this stranger here she said he walks and walks the whole year walks and walks the whole year always afraid of being arrested such sort of vagabonds are often caught by the police na he walks and walks the whole year long and there is probably not a single place in the whole country where he is welcome and can feel at home whenever wherever he turns he is chased away he is chased away means he is never welcomed this man is always shoo away people often never allow him to come into his home he is always chased away means people often make him run away from there always is afraid of being arrested and cross examined by the police it ha- happens such sort of vagabonds are caught by the police if any crime occurs so i should like to have him enjoy a day of peace with us papa here just run in the whole year if it is possible papa can we allow him to stay here one night the iron master mumbled something mumbled spoke inaudible something means which cannot be understood he spoke within his mouth oh my god what are you doing just one such sort of language huh? he mumbled something in his beard he said he could not bring himself to oppose her means the arguments of the girls were very true and he could not oppose his uh, her thoughts it was all a mistake papa of course she continued but anyway i don't think we ought to chase away a humble human being whom we have asked to come here and to whom we had promised christmas cheer papa how can we just ask this man to go away without taking uh, any particular and uh, any des- delicacy without enjoying how is it possible we should not although although he is a poor man he uh conceded he concealed his reality but he is a poor man we must and moreover we have brought him home na he d- he had he has not come himself right and uh, we have welcomed him how can we just uh, show this man away we can just ask him to go oh you do preach worse than a parson it means you always give sermons like a priest bolti bahut hai है ना जो स्वस्थ लाइन है पार्सन पार्सन मीन्स प्लीस्ट योर वर्ड्स आर जस्ट वेरी सेक्रेट जस्ट लाइक ए प्लीस्ट आई कैन डी नाई सेट द आर एन मास्टर आई होप यू वोंट हैव टू रिग्रेट माई सेल्फ रिग्रेट माई डियर यू वोंट हैव टू रिग्रेट लेटर ऑन यू शुड नॉट रिपेंट जस्ट कीप इन माइंड वन थिंग डोंट रिपेंट देयर आफ्टर मीन्स ही कुड बी any criminal so later on you should not repent okay and after saying the young man took the stranger by the hand and led him to the table led him to the table so my dear children let's finish here this part and we shall complete the chapter in our next video thank you